Hello water signs. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. Believe in miracles. I don't know, it just came up. Spiritual growth, miracles. Don't ask me why I felt like I should show those to y'all. So this is going to be for Thursday, October the 18th, 2018. They are still doing some sort of renovation, repair, etc. here in my building. It may get loud, at which point I'll have to pause the video and come back to it. Spirit, what have we got for Mystical Wisdom Oracle deck for my water signs? Let's start with Pisces, please. For October the 18th. Pisces. Whoa. We have set your goals, leadership, and gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. For Scorpio, please, for October the 18th, 2018, Spirit, for Scorpio. Scorpio, you're being directed to follow what you're passionate about. Follow your passion. Creative wonderment. I love this. This Now, I know like not all the Scorpios that watch me are, are women. Some of you are men, but... I just absolutely love that like ultra feminine wispy pink dress. It's absolutely stunning. And this is interesting. So it says follow your passion. For those of you that are men, there may be a woman that is important to you that you've been dreaming of, fantasizing about, thinking about, wanting to see. Okay. And Cancer, please, Spirit. What have we got for Cancer for October the 18th? Cancer. Cancer. Cancer, we have Unicorn. Invite Serendipity. Something good might be coming your way, Cancer. And now we're going to take one from the Romance Angels for all my water signs. Okay, Spirit, what have we got for Pisces for October 18th, 2018, please? Pisces. Pisces, love and romance, please. Pisces. Two cards fell out. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Keep in mind, past could be yesterday, last week, last month, last year, five years ago, ten years ago. And, Spirit, what have we got for Scorpio for October 18th, 2018? Love and Romance. Um, you got honeymoon, which is kind of funny. You have wed wedding underneath there. <laughs> now, honeymoon isn't isn't a literal honeymoon unless you literally just got married today. When I'm doing this, it's more or less you know you might be you might consider taking some time to travel with your loved one, um, you know, with your partner to be able to spend some time together, reconnect. Okay, Spirit, what have we got for Cancer for Love and Romance, October 18th, 2018? Cancer. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. Okay, my Pisces, you would have to be the complicated ones today, right? Okay, so we're going to turn over Cancer. We're going to turn over Scorpio. We're going to focus on Pisces for a moment, and then we'll be back with Scorpio. All right, Pisces. We have leadership. Set your goals. Gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your love life your life. As I said, remember, past could be um, yesterday, last week, last month, last year. I always hate how it says past because, you know, it's just the past is so, so open. You never know. 
Spirit, could I have some cards for Pisces, please, for October the 18th, 2018? Pisces, Pisces. We have Strength, and we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Moon and the King of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. It was only going to take three, but look, you just had to be complicated, Pisces. <laughs> We are complicated folk, are we not? Okay. So, the overall energy of the reading comes from the card on the bottom of the deck. We have the Empress and the Ten of Cups and Balance with the Six of Pentacles. So, it looks like this is a love relationship situation, okay? And the Empress has to do with abundance and having luck on your side, which clearly you do if there's a reconciliation. <laughs> There's an abundance of love and an abundance of you know, gratitude here. Um, it's showing compassionate to the one that you care for. It's you know allowing your heart to lead the path instead of rational thought. That'll be easy for you, Pisces. You very frequently lead with your heart and less with your head, and you tend to wear your heart on your sleeve too, which isn't. It's not always a good thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing either, but it is what it is. So, our reading is going to be surrounding that overall, um, overall feeling of not taking for granted what you have and being thankful for the abundance in your life. We do see here that we have the strength card. This is about persevering. Now, if you're reconciling with some with somebody, these first two cards likely have to do with that feeling that you had from the separation from this person. So that strength is that sense of, you know, good, keeping, keeping moving forward and moving past former struggles with this person. Letting the, the former struggles go and just you know, breathing in, trusting in the situation that you're in now and trusting that you're going to be moving forward, you know, believing and then seeing, not seeing them believing. Being persistent, persistent. You know, um, just a brief story from my own life. As you all know, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I am extremely persistent. I don't back down from anything. I think it's part partly um, ingrained in my family, my family, you know, dynamics and heritage and things of that nature, but I'm, I'm like ultra persistent. <laughs> so if anybody can identify with that card, I most certainly can. Sometimes, Pisces, it's very hard to have that strength to continue to endure, to continue to move forward. Um, you know, especially if you don't see, you know, trust is about, is about having faith, right? It's having faith in something that you can't see. So you're having to trust in something that you can't see, that you can't, you may not be able to see that this reconciliation is about to take place. You have to trust in your feelings for this person. You have to trust in what you likely feel intuitively from this person. Um, because Pisces is very, very intuitive. So you you are very likely able to feel their feelings. So you have to trust in all that. You can't visibly see it, but you can feel it, right? So you have to trust in that and have faith. And when you have that faith, it does help to strengthen you to continue to push forward. But I do see here with this Four of Pentacles, you have a strong fear of losing this person. Um, the Four of Pentacles is about a fear of loss. And you really have to let go of that fear, Pisces, and embrace gratitude instead. So let go, let go of the fear, embrace gratitude, um, have an open mind to new possibilities when this person does return, and let go of your, let go of your need for control. Absolutely, positively, you have to let go of your need 
for control. If you want to have this abundance in your life and you want to have this person come back into your life. Now, please, no comments down below saying, I don't want my lying, stinking, you know, cheating ex to come back because you don't know who this is. And this message may not be for you. It appears to be very, very specific. So if it does not resonate, one, check your moon rising and Venus signs. Um, if you know your birth chart placements. Two, if you need a more personalized reading just for you, I have information down in the description box about personal readings. But you're fearing, you're fearing that you've lost this person, or you're feeling, fearing that if this person does come back, they're actually coming back to tell you, you know, they don't ever want you in their life again. So you have this huge fear that you have to let go of because right now, you know, you've got this moon card, so this is Pisces card. Um, strength for those of you that that always ask um, Empress is is Libra and Taurus energy strength is Leo energy the moon is Pisces energy and the king of cups um, tends to be Scorpio or Libra but it is water sign energy um, and somebody in their birth chart has Leo in their birth chart because we have we have lion here and here, so somebody's got some Leo in their chart somewhere. At any rate, the moon card is about uh, mystery and not really knowing exactly where you're going. Now, you've, you may have heard me say in the past that for me, being a Pisces, this being my card, when I see the moon card, I feel like I'm gaining clarity. And so for today's reading, because that that's how I equate it for a Piscinian, we live in mystery, do we not? We live in we live in that sense of mystery. We embrace mystery. We embrace the things that we cannot see because, you know, we, we kind of live our life intuitively, whether we instinctively know that or not. Pisces Pisces, you know, that's that's the way they flow, you know? And so I believe, Pisces, that you're going to be gaining some clarity on this. To remove this fear of loss, to understand why you have had a need to continue to be persistent, because we see that there's there's the other party or yourself, either or, since this is water energy, it could be you, one of the two of you has been holding back your emotions. You've not been letting your emotions uh, be known to the other, and you know, one of the benefits of the King of Cups energy is the fact that they are able to restrain their emotions because there are times when you have to keep your emotions in check, which Pisces is not real good about doing, right? But here we have this King of Cups energy which says somebody has not been expressing their emotions. They've been holding them, holding them back. They've been resisting them. And now they're going to embrace the other aspect of the King of Cups, the compassionate, the sympathetic, the strong, and everything is going to be illuminated for you, Pisces, as to why you've been going through this situation. And it looks like you're moving forward to reconciliation, which is absolutely beautiful. But you have you have a couple couple strong couple strong things to keep in mind. One, it says leadership, set your goals. So this needs to be outside of this relationship situation. This is for you, for self-growth. You need to go through your own personal transformation. And I believe that you need, from what I'm energetically feeling, obviously I have nothing here to show that other than this card. Um, so I feel like you need to go through a period of personal growth. And that personal growth is going to come after you've gained the clarity on this situation and you feel like this is stable. Then you're going to be able to work on other aspects of yourself that don't involve the relationship and that do not affect the relationship. And then you're told to be grateful. Be grateful for everything that you have in your life, for the memories as well, because I see here memories um, and clarity and illumination. Be grateful for that also. Be grateful for the journey. Be grateful for the direction you're, you're being shown. And have faith. Have faith. Okay. Pisces, that's all I've got. <laughs> if you're sticking around for the other two, we're moving on to Scorpio now. 
Otherwise, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. If you need a personal reading, check the description box down below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. We've got that follow your passion card. I love this card. It's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Let's see what Scorpio has for October the 18th. 2018. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You guys are getting the shuffle because you requested the shuffle. And I thank you for that because I too, as a Pisces, I, I prefer to watch it. Sometimes cards pop out. <laughs> you don't want to miss that, you know. And I hope that you guys have been doing well, absolutely well. It looks like, you know, you guys have been going through a lot of burdens. And that, hopefully, is coming to an end for you. Okay, Scorpio. Spirit, what have we got for Scorpio? October 18th. We have the Hangman. That's your fellow Piscinians card. Okay. What else have you got for Scorpio, please, Spirit? We have the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. You know, since Pisces had four, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one more. Scorpio, please. Oh, you'd have to give me two. Okay, I try to try to be nice, give you one more, and you give me two. The overall energy from the bottom of the deck is the moon card. Um, for those of you that want to know all the signs, you have a boatload of air energy in here. You have, oh wow. Okay, this is regarding a relationship. You have the king and queen of swords. So since you are not an air sign, you are a water sign, um, I believe that you and your partner are going to be exhibiting the traits of these two cards. We're going to put them up here, actually. Okay. So, air signs, you know, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I see them here, and I see two cards for Pisces here. Um, So your overall energy is the moon card. It is a um, card of confusion and mystery and not really knowing, like being on your journey, being on the pathway, moving towards your future, not really knowing exactly where you're going and having that pathway illuminated for you step by step. It can cause a great deal of confusion and anxiety which I see that you've got some communication coming that's going to to take all of that away for you. Um, but the moon card does bring confusion and anxiety. And as I said just a few minutes ago in the Pisces reading, um, when the moon card came out for them, for me when the moon card comes up, it, it brings clarity because, you know, I, it, one, it's it's Pisces energy, and so I think that we connect with the moon card on a different level than most people do. And I have to say that, you know, Scorpio and Cancer also have that same heavy intuition and that sense of living and that sense of mystery as well. And so it's possible that this could be that confusion will be illuminated for you. You'll get gain clarity, which I do see you're going to gain clarity, and um, that's going to assist you. So this was the first card that came out, and that was the hangman. So you're in a situation in which you have just sat back and said, I'm surrendering to this. I have no idea what I need to do. I'm not going to move forward. I'm just going to sit here and let it kind of work itself out. It's, it's called embracing the circumstances, finding acceptance, and trying to learn from it. But you're basically, I ain't moving. I'm staying right here. I'm not moving. Well, that changes <laughs> because at some point you gain the clarity that you need to be able to be fearless. Because this is, this is kind of 
staying in a state of confusion and you know not being strong enough to move forward well I do see with the page of swords there's a very very um, it's a very very strong card it's very adaptable and so I see that you're going to be fearless you're going to be adaptable as soon as you get the clarity that you need to move forward that something that you've been waiting to hear or see is going to be illuminated to you and it's everything's going to be crystal clear as soon as that happens it's all going to be crystal clear you're going to know exactly which direction you need to go in and which direction you want to go in and I see here it looks like you're going to be see we've got three wands this comes immediately after the decision card of the two of wands this is the three of wands so you choose the direction you're heading in and even though it's mysterious, you're embracing the mystery of the unknown and you're saying, okay, I'm going to be fearless and I am going to move forward with confidence because what I see for my future is brighter than what, where I am at right now. Well, unfortunately, see, we've got honeymoon here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and follow your passion. So when you're fearless, you're going to be following, it, it looks like you're going to be following a person. See how like the memories and the thoughts are of this person. So it doesn't matter whether you're male or a female, I believe that there's somebody in this you know, couple that you're going to be taking a step towards and moving forward in the future with, based upon the cards. And especially since we have a card here saying that you're going to be spending time together. But unfortunately, it does come with a little bit of a struggle at first. Because it looks like the two of you are massively in need of communication. And you are kind of at odds at the moment. I mean, see, he's looking over at her like, you know, I got some stuff to stay. And you're going to have to listen to me because... I am like about ready to explode. I have things that I need to tell you and you need to listen. And here she is with this mask over her face. It's kind of it almost sort of seems like a protection mechanism, but it's like, you know, I'm not I'm not concerned about about what you're going to have to say, but by golly, I'm going to take a stance on whatever it is that I want to take a stand on. So, you two are going to have to soften your communication a little bit. <laughs> soften that communication the king of swords is extremely intense and dominant very 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 serious you know he expects respect and he's all about honesty and integrity she's all about clarity and truth so they want the same thing right well he demands he demands honesty in return well if she values that as well communication will be open honest and will definitely be productive but she's kind of he can be a real jerk and so can she because when she wants to get down to the heart of the matter she cuts down to the heart of the matter when he wants to get you know his point across he is harsh and rude and kind of like you know he, he's a take control so here's the thing you've got two very very stubborn people here who feel like they have something to say you probably have not had an opportunity to express to express something to each other and rather than come together at a point where there's irritation and stubbornness and intensity um, you guys need to embrace um, more of the I'm gonna pull out your card Scorpio and then we'll take the counterpart, the uh, female one, okay? Just because, I mean, even the pictures are softened, you know? Yeah, okay, king. And where's my queen? There she is. Okay. So, so what you need to do is you need to embrace your true self, Scorpio, okay? So, if... If the King of Swords is more you, don't be the King of Swords. If the Queen of Swords is more you, don't be the Queen of Swords. You know, yes, be honest, be truthful, have open, honest communication, but keep it a little lighthearted too. 
and then embrace the, and the water energy instead of that air energy. The King of Cups can be very compassionate, very sympathetic. He can be tender-hearted. The Queen of Cups is nurturing, sensitive, compassionate, loving, and kind. Embrace those energies instead of instead of this. You know, I got something to say. By golly, you better you better sit down and listen. It's almost like you know, it's almost like the communication's been pent up and pent up and pent up and. And he's ready to explode, and she's like, I need to know what the heck's going on. So, you really need to, if you soften your approach, your partner will probably soften theirs. So, keep that in mind, Scorpio. That's all I got for you. <laughs> what a day. All right, we're going to move on to Cancer. Scorpio, if you need a more personalized reading, please check the description box for information on personal readings. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, the Ten of Cups just popped out for a second. Um, it may be significant to one of you. So we've got Unicorn, Invite, Serendipity, and Calling in Your Soulmate. I'm going to go ahead and take four cards for you as well, since your sister signs got extra cards. You never know, Spirit might want you to have five as well. Cancer, 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 Cancer. October 18, 2018 for Cancer, please, Spirit. Cancer. Oof. Cancer, we have the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Cups on the bottom, Scorpio or Water Energy. All right, Cancer, what have we got for you? We have another relationship issue for you. We have a King and a Queen. But here's some deception, page of wands, um, judgment. It looks like something's going on here, Cancer. So your overall energy is um, the King of Cups energy. I believe that you're holding back your emotions from this relationship. And I believe that you're preventing yourself from expressing how you truly feel. Because I see you up in your head here. You feel as if you you have suffered some sort of pain. It could be it could be a betrayal. It could be somebody cheated on you. It could be somebody lied to you. Um, and you you're in a great deal of pain from that. The only the good aspect of the Ten of Swords is that it's not going to get any worse than it is right now. Um, you're going to move forward towards a better future because. There is nothing else that can be piled on you. Now, you may also feel in a lot of pain because you're dealing with that. And at the same time, you could be dealing with some work issues. I see you're de dealing with some, some difficulties um, with regards to forgiving this person for whatever they did to you. And um, you may be taking a lot of time for yourself. But you're very much in your head. You're very much in your head. You can't seem to see a solution to this problem at all. And, you know, you're allowing these struggles to mentally entrap you. And as a result, you're keeping your emotions held back. We do have the King of Wands energy, which is you know, very, very intense and strong. And I feel like you're, that's you. I feel like you're trying very hard to be strong, to present yourself in such a way to other people that, you know, it appears that you're confident and strong and, and that nothing's wrong. But I feel a strong sadness in you, Cancer. You had, you had a great deal of chemistry with this person, and you have a great deal of passion with this person. Um, you have a longing for them as well, and you have a longing to, to actually 
to actually reconnect with them. So the Queen of Cups is water energy. You know, Cancer, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you, or it could be related to the other person. Um, you admire them a great deal. They admire you. But something did happen. And whatever it is that happened has left you feeling just completely depleted. And no matter how much of a front you put onto others, it, that eventually will break. It looks like you're going to be at a point where you might start um, trying to manifest, manifest your soulmate into your life as a result of that experience. Now, this hurt could have been a past hurt from a, a different person. You may be looking for signs and synchronicities and things of that nature or start seeing them and then, you know, have a moment where you happen to be in the right place, right time, and you run across either your love interest and are able to show some compassion and forgiveness to them or you meet somebody new. I'm going to take another Romance Angels card for you. I feel very compelled to do so. Spirit, what else can you tell me for Cancer? Deception. Okay. So, deception could be one of two things. It could have been that person who betrayed you, or it could be you. You deceiving your partner into thinking that everything's fine when everything's not fine. You may need to have a conversation with them. If this person has already left your life, you could be trying to call in somebody new. But um, beware of any kind of red flags or anything like that with the person that you meet. All right, water signs. That's all I've got for you for October 18th, 2018. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Cancer, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you need a personal reading, check the description box down below. And I will see you guys again soon.